Right, morning guys. Welcome to Saturday morning. It's the 22nd of August and I'm at the top of, well, Mary's Field at the moment and Deer Park. So Deer Park's on the left. That one. And we're in Mary's. Um, weather's a bit odd again today. It's, uh, it's warm. It's just been showering. It's blowing a gale still. And it's just another odd day to be honest. You can see horses have got well, a couple of them have got the backs to the wind. So yeah, but this is the uh, this is the scene that everybody likes about horses. You know, seeing them all grazing in the field, all quite content. A couple more over there, knit caravan. Me? No. <laughs> I get lumped with this in the morning. <laughs> so I'll try and shield you from the wind. <laughs> So basically, last night by the looks of it, the boys have had a bit of a barn here, a bit of a scratch or whatever else, and have broken that post. Annoyingly, as usual, that again, that end's completely gone. That was at the ground level, and this one, rock hard. So if anybody's invented a glue that's stuck them back together again, it'd be quite nice. So yeah, I've just changed that post over. We've gone from about, I think that's a six inch post, um, to a apparently seven and a half inch post, which I'm guessing is probably an eight inch post, gone to metric. So yeah, she's in, you just see gap between gate and post. It is a bit narrower gap at the bottom than it is at top, as this swings round actually catch you some of the land so we'll uh, leave it stood up right a little bit plus this also means that when we've got it open for cross country it actually holds itself back a little bit better as well which is handy so yeah um lad had been up before me and said oh post has gone they didn't say which end so that was at that end just to try and hold gate up and it doesn't seem at the other end as well, on this end. So, uh, yeah, I've cut all that off. First out, straight in with a new one. Luckily it's quite soft up here. It's quite sandy soil. It's a bit of a, bit of a contrast to the other side of this state. We kind of go, like, sandy here, and we go into quite clay in the middle bit, and then back to the sand towards the river. So, yeah. Um, not exactly what I was expecting to do. I've got the New Holland T5 lined up with a flail mower to go flail mowing. Um, but as the boss is uh, was ill and still recovering a little bit, no, it's not Corona. Um, I thought we'd better get on with it and get it done. Uh, it's kind of a general rule that that field's got the big daft horses in it. Um, they're usually ones that cause damage because most of them are pretty bored. <coughs> so the, you know, the bigger ones, the stronger ones, most of the stuff in that field, like cross country jumps, are pretty sturdy. Uh, a lot of telegraph poles and all bits of tree trunk, so it's a field that can cope with them. But when you've got a, a weak spot like this, the best thing is just to get it done. Plus I haven't been in until Monday, and well, I didn't really want to make a bigger job out of it than it was. <laughs> So it's taken me about an hour, I think, to dig that one out, which is pretty good going, I reckon. Yeah, all dug behind. Got it in, squared her upright, and uh, topping too far out either. It's a Saturday job, <laughs> I will be honest. I just want to get it done and get on with what I'm supposed to be doing. So, uh, yeah, that's about it, really. i say it's not looking particularly wonderful, the weather. Oh, while well, I'm up here as well. Um, you'll see a difference in field over here. In fact, you'll probably see it better over there. He's actually got two crops in this field. Now, our farm mate over here has got chicken sheds. One over there, one down there, and that's two or five. There's a couple more up the lane. So all this supposedly goes to is chickens for feed. So what it looks like they've done is they've put the main crop in there of which I think is barley, presuming winter, possibly spring barley, I don't know, I'm not the best with that kind of stuff. Um, but obviously they've lost a load from 
uh, the winter and the wet conditions we had. And I think they've over, well, obviously they replanted it with what I think is wheat. Um, possibly barley, I'm not exactly sure. I'm sure somebody will tell me more. Um, but yeah, it's got quite a patchy field. It looks a bit weird when you're used to just seeing one variety of well, crop in there and have to have two. Yeah, it's a bit a bit different. But hopefully I'll catch some of him combine. Um, that's the same field that I had the fast track, if anybody can remember that far back. Uh, the fast track was baling. Yeah, last year, maybe two years ago. When his contractor was in. Um, I know he changed contractors last year and he's got a lad with some big John Deere's. So uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. So you can see it's been a bit, been a bit wet. <laughs> Window still covered. So right, I shall stop waffling on. I shall get this done. And I shall go and do my day's work and then go for a brew because I'm gagging for a brew. Right, guys, I'll catch you later. Cheers, mate.